Are there any legal limitations to utilize life insurance for profitable reasons? Uh, don't buy crack with it. <laughs> um, no, that's not really because when you, you could take a loan against your life insurance policy. So there's, there's two main ways people get money out of the policy. One, you could take a withdrawal. Just say so you withdraw money from a bank account, you withdraw it. But when you withdraw the money, there's less of your money in there working for you. So there's another option. You could take a loan against it. Now, when you take a loan against it, certain policies will allow you to borrow against that money, which means your money stays in the policy, continues to earn interest, and then you borrow against it. So now your money's still in the policy earning interest, you borrow against it, now you got this other money you can use for whatever you want to use it for. But that's your money. A few years ago, there's a client of mine, he's an attorney. He reached out to me and said, should I, should I buy Bitcoin? And um, this was when Bitcoin, I think was was around 4,000, under 4,000 around there. And so I'm like, you know, you're a high income earner. How much money are you thinking about putting in Bitcoin? So he tells me, so he's like, so it's not a huge piece of his, of his net worth or anything like that. He just thought it was cool. He wanted to buy some. There's some other things he wanted to do. So I said, well, we can leverage your policy to buy the Bitcoin. So I'm like, and, it, and if it doesn't work, you just replace the money that was in your policy. And if it works and you do well, then great. So he leveraged his policy, he buys Bitcoin. Well, he bought Bitcoin at close to 4,000 and he exits at about 16, 18,000. So he had a 400% return in a relatively short period of time. He actually turned around, bought more Bitcoin and now he's, he's holding. So that worked out well. He essentially, he basically had none of his actual money in there because he took a loan against his policy, used that for the Bitcoin. And now he sold off some of them, paid off the loan that was outstanding on the policy. So his policy still is working and he still has Bitcoin. So he has his policy and still has Bitcoin. So that was one way somebody used it. So you can really use it for anything. We usually use it for real estate. We like real estate because real estate can cash flow. I had a client who's a truck driver and a client who's a barber. And they came to me and they were like, hey, I, we want to invest. I'm like, well, what do you like doing? They're like, I like to cut hair. I don't know about all the stocks and everything. I know about cutting hair. I'm like, okay, so let's build your cash value policy. Let's store your capital, your profits from your business. We're going to store some of it in your policy. Then we're going to leverage it to buy more barber shops. He's like, dude, that's a great idea. He's like, I, I don't know about learning about stocks. I know barber shops. And so and that was part of his dream to own multiple barber shops. So we did that. Uh, he bought a barbershop in another state than he lives in actually. And so that barbershop pays cash flow to him. So now he's getting cash flow off of that and he expanded his net worth. Whereas he didn't go into something he didn't understand, which was stocks. Nothing against stocks, but it was not something he was very interested in or he understood well. Same thing with a truck driver. He's like, dude, man, I, I know how to drive trucks, man. I'm on the road a lot. I want to buy more trucks and partner with other drivers. So we set up a plan for him. And now using that, uh, he's about to buy another truck. I love the trucking business. I love truckers. So he's gonna do that, doing a policy and using that to buy more trucks.